I'm Sabrina Samuels, and welcome to my show, Upfront and Personal. It's my intention to deliver information that will help us maintain a quality lifestyle in all aspects of our lives. So let's get started. Welcome to my video blog. I'm Sabrina Samuels and thank you for all of you fabulous ladies and gents for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for sharing my YouTube video blog with your friends, family, and your platform. If you have not gone to my website, thebeckmanmethod.com, please go to my website and see what we have to offer, coaching session, private consultations, and my online training program. Here's a testimonial. Stay with me. And I just had my hour and a half consultation with Miss Sabrina Samo, and um, <laughs> I heard the previous consultations and thought, oh, maybe these people are exaggerating. But now that I've had my session, oh my gosh, that was just a power pack hour and a half. And thank you so much for the strategies that you've given me today. I really do feel like I have some actionable items to just really start implementing as I move forward. This has been such a blessing. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, that testimonial. And these are women who have taken my program or my coaching sessions or my private consultations. And they are moving, continuing, I should say continuing to move forward. They understand what is needed in order to continue to advance in life. You have to continue to feed your mind. Let's go to the question of the week. Okay. It says, Sabrina, what do you do in a situation when your man is constantly lying to you? What do you do in a situation when your man is constantly lying? Okay. Wow. I'm sure we can all relate to that, whether you know it's them or us or someone else we know. It's just not cool in a situation to continuously lie. Now I can understand if you're going to tell a little Phoebe Poo every now and then, but when you are lying and you have lives at stake, it's not cool. It's not cool. You have to understand what I'm about to say to you. Men, when you have a good woman, she's faithful to you, she's taking care of business, she's on her game financially, she's supporting you in your game financially, she's making a beautiful home for you, she's feeding you, have food ready, she's still on the hustle, but she's got your dinner ready for you and she's doing the best she can to lift your spirits. Why take that for granted? Why just assume that you've all that a bag of chips and you just that fine and you just that outstanding that you could just throw that, you know, to the side. It's not cool, baby. It's not cool. If you've got a good woman and women, if you've got a good man, you've got a good thing. Now, this question came to me about a man line, so I'm, I'm gonna keep it on the on the subject of the men. If you feel that you can't be with, if you're not married, okay, that's first of all. And you feel that you don't want to devote all your time and attention to one person, one woman, then you need to make that clear. Make it clear. And women, you need to hear that. You need to hear that. If a man is telling you, well, I like multiple women, I like to do this, I like to do that, and you like this man, then you have to adjust your schedule in your mind to understand that. 
if a man comes to you and says he's looking for a woman, he's looking for a, a maid, he's looking for a one-time, you know, a one-on-one, -on -one, then women, you need to hear that. And men, you need to listen to yourself. You need to hear what you just said. Don't say that to get, get some of that coochie. Because you'll say, a man will say just about anything to get that coochie. But you, as a woman, if a man tells you that, you say, look, I'm not playing with you. If whatever you want from me, make it perfectly clear, and I'm going to tell you what I want from you. I'm going to make that perfectly clear. This is now when you've already had a few dates and things are looking more serious. If they're looking more serious, then that's when you have that conversation. But if you're just on a date, you've had a couple of dates, and you know he's seeing someone else, and you're seeing someone else, then and you're single, of course, then that's fine. But when it comes down to a relationship and you think that you're the only one and you're investing your time, energy, soul, money, uh, skills into the, into the game of relationship, then know what the game is and have that conversation. And women don't think that you're gonna just change a man. He's gotta change himself. And men don't think you can just change a woman because she's gotta change herself. If you want change, you have to make it within yourself. Don't say, oh, I'm going to change him. He might be with this or that or the other, but I'm going to win him over. No, you're not. You have a conversation. Okay, this is where I am at this stage in the game. I like you. I'm getting more serious about you in my head. Where are we? If you still want to play around, then I'm going to have to let you go. If you are going to adjust to getting to know me and we get, you know, make it happen, then I'm willing to help you with that adjustment. But don't bull ass me. Tell me the truth. And men, you have the opportunity at that time to know if this is the woman for you. You have to make adjustments. You know, you have to, you know, bring down that, that number that you're dealing with to number one then you have to make that clear. Look, I'm gonna do this and you, women, you ask, well, what kind of time frame are we looking at? Because you don't have time to waste. What kind of time frame are we looking at? Because you both need to be clear in your mind what the game is. It's the game playing around, playing with each other, playing with other people, seeing each other when you can, booty call. What is the game? Relationship, long-term, marriage, settling down, making a life for yourself, yourselves. What is the game? You need to have the conversation and you need to have it clear and succinct in your mind what you are doing. If you're not able to do that, then if he's lying on you and he's telling you this, that, the other, and you know deep down you got into that situation understanding what was going down in the beginning, then it's on you. Men, don't lie. Don't, if, a, if a woman asks you the truth, then tell them the truth. Yes, I, I have a lady on the side. I like you, I, I love you, I have love for you, but this is what I'm doing on the side. And if you can't handle that, I'm, I'm going to respect that and I'm going to let you go on and do what you got to do. And if times and things are changing down the road and you see things getting ready, but, but you know what, men, if you do that, then you expect the conversation to come back at you, at you. Well, I can respect that, and I'm gonna do the same thing. See, the men don't want that to happen. They want you to be exclusive, and then they want to go and, and, and do their thing in the corral. No, it's a two-way street. If you want to play the game, both sides are, are, should should have the uh, both sides should have the option of playing the game. If you want to be one-on-one uh, -on -one with each other then both sides should work toward that. It's a two-way street. So with that said, I hope that you will understand that communication is the key. You have to communicate, you have to be honest, you have to be straight up, and don't play games because women are not in it nowadays for games. Women are making that hustle themselves. Women have to get out there and do what they have to do. They're willing to do that and they're willing to make a home and a life for you, but they don't want any BS when it comes to lies and frivolity. It's just not gonna go down right. So I hope that if you're having relationship problems that you will clear it up, that you will have the real conversation, not the BS conversation, but the real conversation and get down. See, some of us, we know what the bottom line is, but we really don't want to have that real conversation. We want to just, 
in our minds play like it's, there's something else happening. Real is real and fake is fake and false is false and uh, a pipe dream is a pipe dream. People can respect when you're not playing. When you're not playing with a situation, people can respect that. So with that said, I hope that answers that young lady's question. And I hope that we all can remember that lies, what goes on in the dark will pop out in the light. That's what my mother used to tell us. When you tell a lie, it'll pop up in the light and the truth will be revealed. And if you're caught in a lie, you're going to be the one that suffers for it. And I always remember that. That doesn't mean I haven't told a lie here and there. But I don't tell malicious lies. I don't do that. When it comes to the bottom line and I know my welfare is going to be at stake, I tell the truth. I tell the bottom line. Even if it's in a job situation, an opportunity, a business deal, I tell the truth. Don't play with me. You tell me the bottom line because if you tell me one thing and you got me out here on a pipe dream, then you, you're going to try to twist it up. No, 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 no. I, my mind doesn't work like that. And I'm sure yours doesn't either. So let's be straight with one another. It's going to be a better world when we can learn how to be straight with one another and not play the frivolous games that entrap us and hold us back. Don't forget to go to my website, sabrinasamuels.com or The Beckman Method. Remember, I love you. God bless you. God loves you. He loves us all, but we have to do our part to make it happen. And life can be beautiful, even though there's a lot of challenges going on out here. I know it is. A lot of challenges. We can still have a beautiful life, but we have to focus on the good, focus on God, and focus on the best. And we have to remember to handle that business. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.